So with six balls left in this innings, we were on 162. Will we get a chance at all in this final over? That's going to be one, so we will get on strike. Now there's probably not a lot to gain here and only really to lose my wicket. Oh, shot! <laughs> Cop that one. Go short again. There is a man back there now. He pitches it up. He gets the nick and I'm out. Always difficult to come in late in the innings. Oh, and with the ball here to the Spice Man. They're one for 41. Oh, that's a nice start. It's high. It's catchable. But it's just six. Oh, he comes down the pitch. That's all the way for six. Comes down the wicket. Hits it straight down the throat of deep cover. Tim David got to go. They need 10 and over from the last 10. Yep. Oh, and an inside edge saves Roston Chase. Gee, the pressure's on here. St. Lucia need four from the final over to win. Can't let them score. Are you kidding me? Ah! They've seriously just run five and that's the game. Unbelievable scenes. You wouldn't read about it, would you? Finally dropped our first game in this tournament. Surely not back-to-back -back losses coming up, although that is a cracking shot. Oh. Close! I reckon I'm reviewing... Oh, impact outside off, really? I thought it was much closer than that. Oh, not this time, he's out! Same ball, still didn't know how to play it in the wrong and gets the wicket. Oh, it's pretty close. I reckon this should be given. And it is. This one, definitely, oh, definitely hitting that off stump there. Piran out for 19. Oh, and he's got another one. He's on a hat trick. What was he thinking here? Hedmeyer out for a dark, 4 for 42. Oh, it is the hat trick ball. We're going the wrong end, the juicy wrong end. It comes down the wicket. He nicks it and it's not out. Oh, spewing. So he steamrolled them with the ball. They only made 150. Now with the bat, we only need 21 from 28. That's a four. Oh, miss hit, but should be a couple. Oh, jeez, what is that fielding? He's kicked it into the boundary. Oh, no, he hasn't. We're going to run four here. It's quite a short boundary there straight. Oh, I reckon that's actually a run out. Very nice fielding. I reckon he got the bails off quick enough, and he's out. Look, that probably was my bad. Oh, that's a good shot. That should be four. No stopping that. It's like a rocket. Anyway, this will be four again. We need six from the final four overs to win. One run for victory. Oh, that's a wide. I think that's the game. <laughs> that's all over. Barbados with a seven-wicket win. Kyle Mayers, 63, got him player of the match, and he took two wickets. Very well deserved. Oh, what's going on here? He's very happy. He is very happy. It's the midpoint of the season. How are we traveling? The, the most adventurous hobbits of all are not traveling as well as we are. <laughs> Who wrote these lines? Regardless, I don't think we're even going to be playing in that uh, competition anymore because Australia will be touring Afghanistan for a one-off test. Now, I've just pushed myself back down to five on the batting order. The reason being, obviously, you've got to focus on the captaincy, but maybe it'll give us a chance to bat against a slightly older ball, which means we can, you know, maybe play a little bit better. I know everyone wants me to focus on my batting here in these test matches, so that's exactly what I'm going to try and do, as Afghanistan have won the toss, and they're going to bat first. Cummins has got four, Zampa one. And at 5 for 200, this Afghanistan side probably surprising a number of people with how well they've gone. Now it's my opportunity with the ball. Reminder, the shooey dismissal is supposedly gone. That slip probably needs to be first slip, doesn't it? They've also definitely made a slight adjustment to the camera angles uh, in that previous patch. Just so it doesn't linger as staticky it's sort of always constantly on the on the move anyway that's the end of my first over it's a maiden five for 200 oh the turn if there's a slip i mean an edge that goes in between keeper and the slipper i'll be so annoyed well 2.4 overs just the one scoring shot 
off my bowling at the moment. Sort of a work down towards fine leg. End up going for four. A couple of maidens are also outside of that. And that's the end of that second session of play here. So Cummins and Zampa, as we can see, have got the wickets. Uh, Jai Richardson and maybe Mitchell Stark could bowl a few more overs, but Zampa putting in the hard yards early here. Cameron Green also got a few overs in there as well. Green, Green and Green getting those final few wickets for Australia as we are 3 for 160 in response as I will come out to the crease. 956 test runs. We're closing in on our 1,000 test runs status. If we can get another 40 odd runs here. It's Rashid Khan comes into bowl. First one whipped away with some force. Australia only 102 runs behind this Afghanistan team right now. Gee, if I got out then, that would have been supremely unlucky. This is going to be at least two. Smith can come back for the fourth. Or is that me coming back for the fourth? It is me coming back for the fourth to the danger end. Yeah, I like Rashid over the wicket. He's far more dangerous that way. Look at that. Whew. Now, I've heard the outcries of everyone in the comments saying my batting has drastically, you know, fallen away in these sorts of matches. So I am going to do my best, everyone, to try and perform at my peak for all of you. That includes blocking, leaving, doing all the right things, having a decent strike rate, but not something that's too significantly low as to not progress the game. Yes. Just making sure that the game is at work. There's probably two in that because it was hit with just the perfect amount of force. Yes. Should be a couple in this, or just the one. Happy to just take the single, save your legs, keep the strike. Well, not keep the strike, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a bit dangerous, the cut, given that there is a slip fielder in there and it got awfully close to him. But we found the boundary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a shot. Rashid has been cut away. And that'll be a boundary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, reverse sweep this time. Getting it out in the test format. After what we've seen in the shorter format of the game. Australia is their fourth wicket. Stephen Smith now out. Cameron Green, the new man in. Yes. Another one. We're just ticking along at the moment. This is a pretty good knock. 30 now from 44. Yep. Short ball taken on. This could be a boundary, actually. And it is. Woohoo, what a shot. Shot. Just a full toss. The cover gap was there, and I've decided, why not give it a crack? Oh, nicked, and it's raced. Flown through the skies, but didn't carry. Waiting. Yep. Oh, that'll be a couple. Or is it one? Slight misfield, but no, just a single. So Australia have really pushed on here. The lead is just 28 here from this Afghanistan team. Cameron Green, 15 from 23. I'm 39 from 58. It's a much more methodical type innings for me, I feel. But as we've seen and proven time and time again, it only takes one mistake in these sorts of games to be able to get yourself out. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Just waited. Probably three. Yes. Oh, and again, there's no mid on, so simple drive. But when you're bowling at that full and straight, it's an easy couple of runs. So it's four for 245 at T on day two. 48 knots. Not a bad start. Full toss. Put away. Well,. Not quite really, because it's only going to be a two, but that will be enough for the 50. Been a great knock, this. Oh, that's a bit better timing, I think. Or is it not? No, it's not. It's just one again. So we get within 10 runs of this Afghanistan first innings total. Oh, that's a good shot. Plenty of runs. Would it be four? Shot. Yeah, yeah. Don't know why I did that. Almost killed Cameron Green in the process with that <laughs> shot that went zooming past his head. Didn't seem duck out of the way here. 
But it's a quality boundary. Yes. Oh, that's the lead. Actually, the lead came from the previous boundary, not that single. Waiting. Yes. Ooh, and again, this has been an expensive over from Ahmed. It's going to be at least three runs here, which means I'm going to keep the strike yet again. Four for 268. Jeez, what a sweep. I'm surprised it got fielded because that was hit with some force. Wait there. Oh, it does beat the fielder. It was a wider, fuller ball, and I decided to take it on. The big wide drive chased it. Yep. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's into the gap. It might actually be all the way. Well fielded. Josh Inglis is going to come back for the third. I didn't even realise we'd, we'd lost uh, Cameron Green out here. It's Australia starting to press on with a first innings lead. It's got to be worth, what, 40 runs? 30 runs the lead at the moment. Wait there. Yep. Oh, straight back past the bowler, and it's going to be just the one. <laughs> I thought it would be more. <laughs> this is pretty good knock, and I'm close. Here, what am I in? 87 from 121. Close to the ton. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's actually no one down the ground outside of this mid-off fielder. So I probably could have done a bit better there with that shot. Under the over. 5 for 304. Yep. Oh, nicked. Goes to ground. Gets the single. Wait on. Yeah. No way! Oh, 93! The short ball, I took it on. And I've been caught by sort of a leg gully. The score is now Gee, that's a major disappointment. It is 6 for 321, out for 93 after what was a pretty really good knock. God damn, that's annoying. Inglis, Cummins, runs everywhere, wickets are plenty. Australia go on to win by an innings plus against Afghanistan. An innings and 95 runs. Cameron Green taking six wickets earns him player of the game honours. He also made a contribution with the bat as well. My 93 was the top score with the bat. But a good win for Australia. 495 they put on the board. And Afghanistan, unfortunately at home, couldn't get it done. And now, everyone, we can tick off our Afghanistan tour away off the checklist. Can we please get better journalists who don't realise that it was a draw and that we won by an innings? I mean, but personally, as the, the point is here, you couldn't ask for a better story because cricket is the real winner. We got to play in Afghanistan against Afghanistan, and I think that that's exactly what that they would have liked. Uh, from this tour is that they actually got it off and Australia played here. These are the types of questions that you would want to know. You'd want to be talking about a historic tour of Afghanistan, not, you know, it was a draw, even though it wasn't. Get in the bin, some of those journos, honestly. Australia's tour of Afghanistan is complete. As we're back with some CPL action, I guess we can play it because this test was over in about three days. So we're going to do that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.